Okay, here we have some different shapes um, that have an area. And if we look, you can hardly see it here, but there is a tiny little dot here. And that dot is to represent the size of one millimeter squared. Tiny, tiny millimeter, one millimeter long and one millimeter high. Probably about the size of a flea. A flea would have a surface area, if we looked at the top and drew a little map of it, of about one millimetre squared. Here we have a shape that is one centimetre squared. One centimetre long and one centimetre wide would give us one centimetre squared. A decimetre we know is the same as ten centimetres. So here we have a decimetre, one decimetre in length and one decimetre in height that will give us an area of one decimeter squared. Now, the question is, how many of these little centimeter squares would we be able to fit in here? Well, we'd be able to fit 10 along the top here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, if we split them up equally. Then we'd have another row with another 10, and then we'd have another row with another 10. So if we were to calculate all of these centimeter squares that are in our decimeter squared, we'd actually get 100. Why would we end up getting 100? Well, the length of a decimeter is the same as 10 centimeters. The length of a decimeter is the same as 10 centimeters. So if we were to get this area in centimeter squared instead, we'd multiply the length in centimeters by the breadth in centimeters, which would be 10 multiplied by 10, which would be 100 centimeters squared. But if we were to calculate the area in decimeters, we'd measure the length multiplied by the breadth, which would be one decimeter times one decimeter, which would be one decimeter squared. So there's a very important relationship here, that if we're talking area, one decimeter squared is equivalent to 100 centimeters squared. Here I've got a whole meter squared. I've written a meter times a meter. One meter long and one meter high. But we know that one meter is the same as 10 decimeters. So if I was to split this shape up instead into decimeters, I would get one decimeter squared here, and then two, three, four, five, six. At the end here, I'd have 10 decimeters squared. At the end of the next column, I'd have, in the next row, I'd have 20, 30, 40. So down here, I would end up with my final decimeter squared being 100. So I can say that this area here is one meter squared, which is the same as 10 decimeters by 10 decimeters squared, which is 100 decimeters squared. So understanding this concept of what we're doing, we're actually splitting our small, our area of decimeter squared up into centimeter squared, or we're splitting our area of a big whole meter squared into small 100 decimeter squared. To make it uh, clear to understand how these units are related to one another. And now we've looked at that, we'll look at how they're related to each other and so that you can use them to calculate quite easily.